Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are back at the Oasis where we started. And today I've got guys coming in from the company that we own here. Um, and we're essentially going to empty out Wanda. So we're taking everything out and um, follow along as we do this process. You'll essentially see what's in some of the cabinets and a lot of stuff I did not need during this trip. And on Monday, the Airstream goes back to the dealership because after four months of travel up Alaska and back again, there's a whole bunch of stuff that broke. So following episode, we're gonna mark everything that broke during this process. tour of what is actually in the airstream. Okay, these are the overhead from the bed. This is Walter's side. It's got, it's got Eeyore, my sister's Eeyore. This is all pants. And I don't even know what's over here. And two bins. And then on my side, I got sweatshirts and pants and shorts and this bin here which is full of I don't know <laughs> so the bins that go underneath here I have to get rid of because they take up way too much room and I actually need it for clothes so we're learning how to do stuff now underneath the bed Got more bins that I need to sort out that I've just been stuffing stuff in. This is owner's manual. These are the Canadian stuff. There's money, stamps, stuff. That one is um, stuff that's gonna go on the map wall. This is all miscellaneous stuff that I ended up not needing. So there's a lot of sorting after we clear out the airstream. That box right there is stamps and for postcards. Underneath here is linen that I never use. And then underneath here is our medications. So we work our way into the bathroom. Here is medicine stuff, shaving cream, antihistamines, our water pick, and here is our toothbrush, hand cream. This stuff is wonderful. It keeps working cream. <sighs> Toiletries. More toiletries. Working our way to the back. All t-shirts. Mine probably felt the back. Coats. Okay, the dress shirts. Took, took up nothing but room because I we had I never wore any of the dress shirts. So next time, no dress shirts. This is just gonna be all coats and jackets. My hat, some of them, half of them I did not wear. Underwear, pack a lot of underwear. And white socks is what we ran short of. Canned foods down here. The Instapot I did not end up using, but I will still carry it, only because I want to. Okay, 
this drawer I ended up using the most. The hot water for my teas, coffee in the morning, my rice cooker. Look at that, I'm almost out of patis. Four months. Oh, this is going to get cleared up. So tea, I had three of these. This is my second box. I still have another box down here. Okay, the, the vent fan falling apart. The, the oh my goodness, one of the one of the screws is already gone over there. So that's broken. Plates, we need to resort plates. I ended up I used these bowls. This one didn't use a platter at all. Used all the plates at one time. Never used these bowls or those bowls. A red solo cup. I do use they're great for grease after you cook bacon. This this stuff I used every day. Silverware. I have setting for six. We need to redo this. So I only need a setting for four. And all these serving spoons didn't end up using any of them. Half of this I need to purge out. These are some spices and kitchen stuff. Okay, this is under the sink. I ended up using a lot of this stuff on a daily basis. And I ended up using all the pots and pans. Actually, I need a bigger lid for my wok. Okay, above kitchen table. Okay, the DVD player that came with this, I don't know whether it's on or off. There's no light indication. I don't like that. I want a new one put in. And sometimes this thing did not work twice during the trip okay my DVD player for my computer pens these we ended up using a lot office essentials and then there's paper down here and then more office supplies down here between here are my knitting needles And I've got all this stuff on the sofa. So we're gonna clear all this out. I've turned off the refrigerator. I emptied out most of it already. Throw away all the meat that we bought. Some of it we bought in BC, brought it through Alaska, through the Yukon, Alaska, brought it back to BC and I brought it back to I think started clearing all this stuff when I was in Provo, Utah. So this is what's left of it. I'm currently defrosting the freezer and refrigerator. Oh, I've got to put towels down here. Oh, what's above here is just stacks. It's got to go inside too. Okay, we're going to clear out all of this stuff, bring it back to PH1, and I'm going to resort it there. Okay, we also have crap right here. And I don't even remember what's in here. <laughs> we 
Okay, I got extension cords, assorted tapes. I did use the silver electrical tape once, but all this other tape stuff I didn't use, so I don't know. Okay, this is a broom. <laughs> My rake. <laughs> I do still want this. Inside of one, though. Coffee, what's left of it. <laughs> Sorted bungee cords. Gloves. Okay, Tupperware stuff. More gloves. This used to have canned foods in it. And I ended up throwing most of it away because we weren't using it at all. This is a wheel. If one of the wheels went flat, I can just put this underneath one of them. And this is actually tall enough where we will raise the wheel so we can change the tire. Oh, this is where that went. This is the crank for the stabilizers. Never used it. <laughs> oh, I gotta order more of these. So when it goes into storage, it repels mice. Everyone remembers Justin. He has the most hits. Yes. <laughs> getting cleared out this is fabulous this would have taken me several days to do and I would have been exhausted and tired so having the guys come and clear this out so I can resort it at my own pace back at PH1 was fabulous okay we're almost done with the clear out which is wonderful and I do want to thank the guys for doing this for me. All right, it took three trips and three people with me just standing around. Telling, he's like, okay, this, 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 that, that. Uh, for Wanda to get cleared out, they, they got here at nine. It is now 12 o'clock. So they'll be back about 12.30 again. And it took about three and a half hours to clear out Wanda. Uh, tomorrow I'll be cleaning a little bit, not too much. And on Saturday, Bobby comes who will shampoo or hot steam the floor and the couches and detail the outside of Wanda and also Aries. Interior detail inside and outside in the, in the bed of the truck. To get all that mud and debris out, I'm gonna have a pristine car and a pristine Wanda again. Uh, and then on Sunday, I will be going through and Cloroxing everything. <laughs> Let's see what else. That's about it. Thank you for watching 
this clear out of Wanda. And if I did this myself, it would have taken probably four days. So, some things aren't all roses in my life. I know it seems like it, but it's not. <laughs> all right, thank you again for watching. Bye.